Good evening, welcome to Jim Monley's World of Weather. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for January 31st through February 12th. Uh, the pattern is going through uh, a change and then it will change again uh, later in this forecast period. And I'll get to that in a little bit. We're going to look first at the period from January 31st to February 4th. Um, the, the pattern will feature two streams the northern stream here, the southern stream. The southern stream would be the most dominant, bringing precipita heavy precipitation to areas of the uh, California, the Southern Rockies, and to the Plains. Um, positive height anomalies are forecast across, the, again, across the uh, northern Canada. We still have our trough here from the Bering Sea into the west and a ridge in the east. In time, this trough will slide eastward. And like I said before, heavy precipitation is forecast from the Mississippi Valley into the Ohio Tennessee Valleys, the Southeast, and the Middle Atlantic, and also the Northwest. The Northwest will be affected later in the period. The greatest temperature anomalies are from the Ohio Valley eastward, where the temperatures will be above normal. Below normal temperatures are forecast in the West, where anomalies up to 25 degrees or more below normal. We're going to look now at the period from February 3rd to the 7th. Here with the third, we still have our trough here and a trough here across the western U.S. Positive height anomalies here, negative height anomalies here. These will soon be replaced by positive height anomalies. And we have a ridge with zonal flow in the east. So during this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures here, above normal temperatures east of the Mississippi River. And the temperature anomalies here are forecast to be 6 to 12 degrees below normal. And across here, temperatures are expected to be 3 to 12 degrees above normal. For precipitation, I'm calling for uh, above normal precipitation for the northwest and for the lower Mississippi Valley into the northern Mid-Atlantic and the northeast. And we have below normal precipitation across this region here. Now we're going to look at the period for February 8th to the 12th, and this is where the pattern begins to change again. So here at the 8th, you see uh, our ridge builds into the west. We have very strong positive anomalies here near Greenland, northern Canada. And we have a ridge that builds into the west, and we have a, an upper low here near Hudson Bay with a trough in the, in the um, east. Now the GFS is very um, amplified. And rightly so, but um, the other models aren't as quite amplified. We look at um, the European deterministics and the European ensembles, even less so. And oh, I don't have the Canadians again. And during this time period, the PNA and the AO index are forecast to be positive. And I think um, that has, the atmosphere has to catch up or that these indices will be probably catching up in the next few days. So during this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here, below normal temperatures from the Mississippi Valley to Atlantic coast. And across this region here, I'm forecasting temperatures to be four to eight degrees above normal. And across this region, temperatures will be about three to nine degrees below normal for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for the west, above normal precipitation for the southeast and northeast mid-Atlantic into the Ohio Valley. So that is a long-range weather forecast discussion for January 31st through February 12th. Thanks for coming to Jim Monley's World of Weather and have a good day.